Good evening and welcome to tonight's video. Now I'm back here tonight right outside of the Crown and Anchor pub again because I was looking online and I noticed I was looking at some old photos of this place the Crown and Anchor pub itself and um, well first of all there was a picture showing this side of the building um, and it had like a huge mural a painting on the side and that was before this was here this thing I'm standing here it's like a little um, shelter under the rain for when people are drinking I guess and stuff but the weather's like pretty bad and stuff um, but what, what else I noticed was I found an older photograph showing this well it showed that side of the pub the front but it just showed a bit of this end here and I noticed there was houses built right next to the pub here I don't know if they were attached to the pub they might have been if anyone watching knows the houses that used to be here, where the car park is now, and this uh, little uh, drinking shelter thing, did those houses used to be attached to the side of the Crown and Anchor pub, where they built onto it? It looked like they might have been, I couldn't quite tell it was at an angle on the photo, so I couldn't see if there was a gap between the houses and this pub. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of um, investigating around here to see if any of the one time residents. If these houses are here or anybody else because I picked up a girl talking the other night or a lady ah well it was either a woman or a girl I'm not sure how we'll do it around the back there around the back of the crown anchor here and she said the words um, what are you doing to him and don't hurt him that's what I heard and I think that was applying to the ones that are with me or one of them but the thing is I'm not sure if that voice was one of the ones that's with me like trying to fool us because I'm pretty sure they're trying not to be recorded on, on my camera for the most part of the minute because I did like a test in the house the other night and I heard very little said like it was like I heard a bloke say what are you doing I was sitting on the couch and I just left the camera rolling for a bit I wasn't even saying nothing I was just on my laptop and stuff and I heard a bloke saying what are you doing when I got off up the got up off the couch to go and put my laptop somewhere else um, and upstairs it was like very little really, was some voice I couldn't make it out it was on the landing top of the stairs heard some noises there, I don't know what that was so anyway we're going to have a look around here see if we can pick anyone up the night of the spirit variety that is <laughs> so let's have a look then so this is where I am inside of this uh, little shelter here but for some reason, this part of the roof here has a big hole in it. <laughs> There's like the, the covering's missing. I don't know why that is. Maybe it blew off and they didn't repair it yet with the strong winds. I'm not sure. But I just put my bike in here for the minute. But if I go into the car park bit, I don't think I should leave it here. Someone could turn up when I'm not looking behind us and be off on it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to chance that basically and I thought this might have been a smoking shelter but it says no smoking in this area so yeah I guess not <laughs> I guess not and there's plenty of seats here for when I needed it to sit down lots of uh, picnic benches and there's a sign here outside the door saying beer garden cocktails home cooked food weekend live music function room available and we are dog friendly yeah. Right, anyway, let's right get started to see if there's anyone here. So this is the front of the pub, obviously, and there's a street light lighting up some of the scene here. But my light would light this up fine, even if that street light wasn't here. Okay, then. Hello? Is there somebody here with me tonight?
Well, I don't know, there might be someone asleep upstairs in this building that <laughs> I better keep my voice down. And here is Morrison's, right in front of us, straight across the road here. Yeah? Part of it anyway. Smile, I'm on CCTV. Ah. Well, where's the camera then? I haven't spotted it. I looked a bit around, but I couldn't see one. Must be here somewhere. I must be missing it, obviously. Is there anyone here with me tonight? Is there anyone here who resides in this pub or used to go to this pub? I'm guessing this is not the main entrance. I guess that's the main entrance over there. I don't. I don't know because I don't go in this place. I don't go to pubs these days. I never used to go to pubs apart from when I was on holiday with my mum and dad, really. And some of the bars in Newcastle, wine bars and stuff like that. But apart from that, not really. Is there anyone here who used to live in the houses that used to be on this exact spot? That shows how cold it is, you can see me breath the night. It's a bit nippy, shall we say. I've got to put me that glove bang on. Oh well. <coughs> around here a bit and also is there a girl here or a lady who um, said these words the other night when I was around the back of the pub in the alley you said uh, don't hurt him are you here tonight Is there anyone here that said the words to me in this alley a few nights ago, saying, don't hurt him? If you are here, I'd just like to thank you for that. I'm very grateful for what you said. Okay? That's very kind of you to do that and very nice of you. I also heard you say, or ask a question, saying what you're doing to him. I think that's what you said anyway. So are you here tonight? If you are here, is it possible I could know your name? Could you tell us your name please? I'm just going to go back under that shelter because I've left my bike in there. <laughs> Someone could come around that corner and rip me bike. <laughs> Steal me bike. So I better get it out of here. So to speak. Let's turn around. <laughs> Right, I've got it. The bike, that is. It's going further into the car park, over the back of it at least. Uh, I don't know, I'll try this way first. Over here. Now there's one car in the car park here. I don't know if that belongs to the guy who owns the pub or what, but it's a distinct possibility. If he comes out, I'll just tell him what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no problem with that. 
There's no secrets here. None at all. Everything's open. Um, for sure. Because uh, last time I was here, I was over that hedge in the alley behind the uh, funeral parlor place. So, it's just down here on the ground. I think it's a newspaper by the looks of it. And there's some like clinky sounds like someone's dropping metal or something. Somewhere over there. I don't know what's going on over there like. <clears throat> and here we have the bushes <laughs> and the trees. Once again, I'm looking to speak to the girl who spoke to me, or, oh, well, you spoke in the alley when I was recording the other night. Just behind the Crown and Anchor pub. You uh, said, don't hurt him, you must have been able to see what was going on. Is that correct? You could see what was going on? Once again, could you possibly shout your name out if you are here tonight? Car just gone past. Probably come out of Morrison's, I should imagine. I also heard a guy speaking in this alley when I was asking if you could knock on the fence. I heard you say, I don't care, mate. So I apologise if I uh, upset you. I'm just doing a little bit of investigating, that's all, and experimenting with um, recording things like audio and stuff because believe it or not uh, like people cannot see you but but these cameras can sometimes record what you're saying we don't hear you either I heard somebody might have been the same person the other night I heard you shout where quite loudly but I don't know what you are uh, referring to. Is it possible you could let us know what you are uh, talking about when you shouted where? A telegraph pole in the middle of the hedge here. <laughs> That's a hell of a place to put it. it. Looks like it's in the middle. I think it's on the other side of it actually. Yeah, it's probably on the other side. It's very right close though. Looks like it's in the middle of it. Um, is there any, like I said, like I said before, is there anyone here that used to live in the houses that used to be on this spot here, in the, where the car park is? Because this used to be someone's house, or houses. It's a pity they knocked them down though, isn't it? Bet you weren't too happy that they knocked the houses down. I wouldn't be if it was my house, I tell you. But I was knocking things down around here. It's a pity. Getting rid of history, you know. Like they've demolished all the cinemas in Jarrow. Which is terrible, I think. I would love it if the cinemas were still there in Jarrow. Because um, I used to be a cinema projectionist, you know. I used to show the films in the cinema. In uh, Sunderland. At the Sunderland Empire Theatre. I used to be a projectionist in there a long time ago. I used to show um, films on 35mm film. Projected on the big screen. Just to let you know, in case you're interested. <laughs> and I hope you're having a good night, by the way. I hope you're okay, whoever's here. Okay, so... um. I've asked to see if that uh, girl's here, or lady, I don't know how old she is. I could ask now, couldn't I? If the lady or the girl from the other night is here with me, is it possible you could tell me how old you are? Uh, what the hell was that? 
think that was a car making a noise sounding weird like. And um, if there's anyone here at all with me tonight, is it possible you could tell me why you're here? Why did you pick this location tonight? Or why you're here? I don't know if you're here every night, but if you are, why do you stay here? I'm just trying to find out. It's interesting, you know. Just adjust me camera there, it wasn't straight. And if there's anyone here, could you please tell me, do you have a favourite film? What is your favourite film of all time? Do you have one? And also, do you have a favourite, like, pop group or rock group or anything like that? I'm especially interested to talk to this girl who said those things the other night about uh, what was going on because you must have been able to see that something or someone was trying to do things to me or was doing things to me could you could you tell me about that please could you see what was going on that night stairs up there on that roof of the um uh, funeral parlor. <laughs> it's like a staircase going up the roof, I think. Yeah, there is metal stairs. Would it be possible to ask you a favour if you're here, the girl who I recorded? You sound very nice, you sound very polite and uh, friendly, you know? So I was wondering, can you see who it is or what it is that's doing things to me? Is it a person that's doing things to me? Or is it something else? Because I'm not sure, I can't see them. And I can't see you either. I don't know if you are aware of that. In fact, for the most part, I can't hear you speaking either, but my camera can pick you up talking, that's how I know what you said the other night. So I was wondering if you did indeed see these, well, this person or, I know it's one or two, there might be two, possibly more, I don't know. If you can see them and you saw what they were trying to do to me, could you possibly do something to deter them or something. I don't know whether that's possible, but I just thought I'd ask to find out, maybe. I mean, could you... I don't know. Maybe have a word with them or something. Because they don't take any notice of me. That's for sure. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> to be honest, <clears throat> excuse me, got a frog in my throat, and no, it's not Kermit the Frog, <laughs> um, <clears throat> at least I don't think it is, hmm, must be, I don't know, might be actually, I'm starting to sound like him, or slightly like him, I don't know, did you ever used to watch the Muppet Show, anyone, anyone watch the Muppet Show?
Well, I'll walk over here. Okay. Well, you never know. I might pick something up in this car park, or I might not. I just don't know. I noticed that car's uh, windows are steamed up. I think it's because it's so cold tonight. Probably. Whoops, that was me bike pedal. Caught it with me. Or rather, I caught me leg with the pedal. <laughs> Not me le uh, pedal with the leg. It could be either way, I suppose. So that's where I was the other night, round there behind the pub there at the back. And somebody shouted, Where? But nobody on my YouTube channel seemed to hear that. I don't know how, because that one's pretty loud. As far as EVPs go, that was pretty loud. You know? Did no one hear that on my last video outside of the back of the the pub here? Did no one hear a, a, a guy sound where? Uh, shout where rather? No one hear that? Hmm. Let's go over in this corner. I don't think I'll go back into the alley because I've already done it there the other night, but like, I don't know. It might be worth it. I don't know. I'm gonna get through down here anyway. It's blocked off. I don't know why they blocked this off for. Huh. Uh, underneath a massive tree here. Oops. Well, once again, I can't thank you enough the other night for being so polite. The girl. Or the lady. See, I don't know if you're a girl or a lady, because I, I don't know how old you are, I can't see, you know, and stuff, it's hard to see, you know. I can tell you're a very nice person. You seem to be, to me. Got a palm tree on the side of the pub here for some reason. Could be for given, I think we're in the middle of Florida right now, apart from the temperature. <laughs> Touch me hat was the tree, I think. Nothing else. Oops, me going to knock my gears up again. That reminds me, you know, I did a video which I haven't uploaded uh, talking about my trip over to Washington, Tain and Weir, in the dark. Well, it was light when I went there, it ended up dark when I was there, basically. But uh, basically, uh, I came a cropper. I might not upload that video actually, so I may as well tell you on here. As I was saying, I took a trip to Washington. I hadn't, uh, hadn't, made, hadn't been able to make it there f like until a few weeks ago. And I went there when it was still light in the evening, right, on my bike. And I managed to get there, but I didn't get to the area I wanted to, to go to. And uh, what happened was, um, I got a takeaway, right, the pizza. And then I ate the pizza, I was sitting on a wall, and this cat came along and I was feeding the cat bits, bits of the pizza, he was eating the cheese and everything. I didn't even know cats ate cheese, but he, he was eating it, he was stuffing it down like there's no tomorrow, you know. Anyway, after I finished the pizza, I went to get on my bike, and I couldn't pedal, it was stuck. The pedals were stuck, I thought. Oh no, I'm stuck in Washington for the night. So I'm, I'm trying like hell to figure out what's wrong with it, and I noticed the, tra the chain was bent like sideways and it was jammed against the cog it was twisted like so I was trying to jiggle it loose and everything it just it wasn't working right so this couple walked past a guy and his wife or a girlfriend so I said excuse me mate you don't know much about bikes and problems with them or anything by any chance here and he says why what's wrong like I says my bike the, the pedals are stuck they're jammed solid I can't and I live all the way back at heaven he goes oh hell so he tried to jiggle it loose, so he's getting to lift the bike away, trying to wind the, the they get the pedals to go around and uh, dislodge it and stuff. Anyway, he managed to dislodge it and fix it. He had oil all over his hands and everything, so he's probably not too. He wasn't too happy with me after that. I did apologise for that for it and everything, but I was really grateful that, that he helped us out. You know what I'm saying? So um, anyway, if it wasn't for him, I probably would have been stuck in Washington all night long on the streets. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you about that. Because I made a video just rabbiting on about that and a bit a few other things. But other than I'm gonna put that one up. So yeah. So I got back home eventually. It's a long way, but 
I made it eventually. It was a bit of a struggle in a half, I'll tell you that much. Right, anyway. Well, if anyone did speak to me while well, I've been down here next to the Crown and Anchor pub and out uh, near that funeral parlour place, uh, uh, I'm very grateful to you. Okay, thanks very much for speaking. And also, thanks very much for being so nice to the girl. I don't know what your name is yet, if you're here. But if I manage to record your name, if you did tell us it tonight on this camera, I'll come back again and speak to you again if that's all right okay um i still don't know why you're here though did you used to live in one of the houses here or maybe you used to attend this pub a lot maybe and you like to stay next to the pub or in the pub Well, either way, I just can't thank you enough. Thanks very much, okay? I'm going to have to go in a minute. Um, been recording uh, nearly 25 minutes or something like that. Let's sit over here, I think. Right, so I'm having a bit of a sit down here on the picnic bench. And it's handy this little shelter if you get stuck in the rain down here like even if the pub's shut <laughs> you know what I mean just go in there for a minute and a few minutes until it stops or maybe, maybe gets a bit uh, lighter rain or something because sometimes it doesn't stop obviously does it carries on all night long or all day long you know pretty much I just can't believe there used to be houses here I didn't have a clue you know Hmm. I love to know where all the cinemas used to be. I know where one used to be. I did it the other night. I did a little bit of an investigation down next to that one. Not next to it, exactly where it was. So, it might be the. You might have seen that video already by the, before I get this one up. Maybe. I'm not sure which order they're going up in yet. Okay then, well, I think I'm going to wrap this little video up here for tonight. Um. It's, like I say, it's pretty freezing cold tonight. I know it's only autumn and all that, but it's still pretty cold already. Because yesterday was pretty mild. So I was surprised how cold it was tonight. And today as well. So, um, as per usual, uh, it is highly recommended by me if you wear a pair of headphones when you watch this video. I know I keep saying that at the end. I should really say it at the start. <laughs> I was forgetting. I was forgetting. I've got a head like a sieve. Anyway, it is advisable to wear a pair of headphones if you want to hear any possible voices that are on this video. There might not be any, or there might be some, I don't know yet, because I haven't heard a thing while I've been here. Uh, I should have explained that to anyone that's here better, and I think I'll do that now. Sorry for interrupting this outro bit. But if there is any people here with me who've been talking to me, right, tonight while I've been here, you might even be speaking now, I don't know. I must point out to you I'm going to try and make it clear I cannot hear you right but my camera sometimes picks up things you say it might not pick everything up that you say but it does pick up some of it and sometimes quite a bit of it so but it never comes through very loud on the recording so if you if you can speak as loud as you can I'd be very grateful I should have said that earlier as well and I forgot oh well apologize for that okay Anyway, as I was saying, so if you have enjoyed any of this video tonight, as per usual, could you give us a little like? And I'd be very grateful for that, as I usually am. Always I'm grateful for that. Always, always, always I'm grateful for that. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see some more videos from me in the coming weeks. Uh, and of course, if you uh, press the notification bell, you will be notified every time I upload a video. But I think everyone knows that already, probably. Maybe one or two don't, but I think most people do. But I thought I'd better mention it anyway. So I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this video outside of the infamous Crown and Anchor pub here in Jarrow. Because you never know, 
at some point in the future this pub might not be here anymore you know what I'm saying because a lot of pubs in Jarrell have unfortunately been demolished and there's a couple of them down there which are shut they're not open they're not doing any business and they're boarded up one of them's the gin and ale house and the other one's the Queen's they're still there at the minute. I think one of them's for sale. I don't know about the other one. The Queen's is for sale, I think, or it was. So hopefully they get reopened. Because it's not good to see buildings demolished. And you know, you know what I mean? I like to see things kept, you know, the way they were. A lot of the time, you know, unless it was some hideously ugly building or something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's my opinion. I don't know what your thoughts are on all that. Would you like these pubs to be saved? Or would you like them to see them demolished and houses... Oops. And houses built on the spot or a supermarket or something, yeah, you never know. I wouldn't mind seeing another cinema built down here, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. You never know, things could change in the future, you never know. Okay, with that being said, I'd just like to thank you very much once again, and I'll catch you all next ti time, okay? So it's good night from me, and it's good night from him over there. And her, and him as well. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. And bye for now. See you later. Draw now.